Whoa, I am excited today. What's up, guys? This is Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, KJ4YZI. Make sure you subscribe to my videos, share, comment, thumbs up, and consider supporting the channel with the link in the description to help bring you better videos. And I'm going to show you this video I've been working on for a couple weeks now to show you the newest device that I have and probably the most awesome device I've ever used and owned for ham radio. Okay, this is awesome. We're going to take a flashback for a minute and go talk about PSK again. Now, if you're not familiar with PSK, I'm going to show you what I have set up right here as a really basic setup for what anybody would use on PSK 31. PSK, this is not a, a tutorial on phase shift keying or PSK, uh, but I'm going to show you how to replace all this to go ultra extremely portable with my 817 with this new device and I did use this at field day I have a little bit of footage later in this video showing you at field day and I'm going to show you it again in depth and great detail as much as I can where I got it why I got it there and what it does so and a basic system would be a radio a computer with the software of your choice and the sound card interface that kind of joins the two together for the appropriate audio levels. There's also some sort of interface that from the computer to the radio that keys the radio for transmit. Okay, this is an MFJ audio interface that I've used, but they also have the signal link and some other ones that people are very fond of. Um, so what I have is my 817 um, right here next to me, which I love using for QRP portable. But how do I get rid of all this? You take something like this. The pocket-sized portable digital modem for PSK31, PSK63, RIDI, and CW keyboard mode. This right here, running on two AA batteries, and my eBay special $6 roll-up keyboard with a USB connector on it, I can take both of these in the palm of my hand, like this, ultra portable with my 817, and be on PSK or RIDI anywhere I'm at. And let me show you all about this thing. This is way cool. So normally at home, I use Digital Master 780. That's always what I've used, and a lot of people use FL Digi and EasyPan or DigiPan, all kinds of software out there. It all does pretty much the same thing. What I have here is, just to show you real quick, if you're new to PSK, is the signals on the waterfall are in different, they're all, I'm on 14.070, and basically all these signals are at different tones. Uh, to, to explain it as easy as I can, they're all on the same frequency, but they're just shifted in different tones. Okay, so you'll see lines on the waterfall here, and clicking on that line will kind of give you um, the information that's being passed on the screen. Look up here on the top. Well, this one's a, let's go to this signal here. Okay. All right. So a great digital mode for when you want to go really portable, when you want to do some uh, weak signal work, because PSK works when voice doesn't. Uh, most of the time and uh, so it's it's really you get more uh, I think you get more points in the contests and stuff like that it's really a fun mode and uh, so normally at home this is what I would use and it's hooked up with my antenna and, and I have ham radio deluxe control on the radio and such but um, now picture that on this device right here and now on this device you would see those signals not like a waterfall but on a spectrum display here and when you see the signal and the arrow pointing on it there it is N8 Echo X-Ray Victor this is Whiskey 4 Romeo Whiskey Lima now right there is just cool um, so running on two AA batteries how will that how long will that run well I've been on the same two AA batteries since field day. I mean, you can see the voltage up here, 2.5 volts. You can set the date and the time, which I haven't done yet. It has a lot of features I'll try to show you in here. Um, it does have it does have macros. You can save X amount of macros into here, save your call sign. 
and then you can you know uh, execute a keystroke for instance to send a macro you could just hit F1 and you can see I'm transmitting okay um, I do have the old macro from field day set up there so I'm not transmitting that one but uh, you save your call sign in there save your macros and I'm not an expert on it totally yet but I have seen some other uh, one day when I was on at field day um, it selected the user's call sign automatically and underlined it and then with a keystroke it appears that you can save that into the reply macro so that you can send that and include his call sign without having to uh, without having to type it and write it down now I haven't got that to work yet again but it might have been some of the settings I tweaked this unit uh, does have firmware update capability in fact it comes with a USB cable and the reason that I recommended where I bought it uh, in the link, the link for those who always ask, the link is in the description right below this video. Read the description; the info is in there. Um, so, the person that was selling it, um, I actually talked with him, and there was a—I'm not sure if it's the same person on multiple different listings with different accounts because uh, the person I talked to apparently that user is the creator and has firmware updates and is willing to work with me on different uh, uh, features and maybe firmware improvements so first off you're not left in the dark now before I go any further someone else might mention that this might be a clone of the new PSK they call it NUE PSK however the new PSK um, you know is a little more uh, you know involved I think and uh, this one seemed to be very out the door at a hundred and I think it was a hundred and forty dollars plus my six dollar keyboard I got not from that user but from somebody else and I was ready to go I didn't have to buy a dish uh, a proprietary keyboard it uses a USB keyboard I'll show you the case and all that in a minute um, so I recommend that if you're going to consider purchasing this um, ask questions to them talk to them uh, send a message and uh, upon purchasing to receiving was nine days from me. Now, I'm in Florida, and it did, I think, show a little bit longer, but it came in nine days. came with a little note saying thank you. Um, you know, it came with the manual, which I'll show you in a minute. So it was a good purchase and um, has its own little things here. So uh, first off, you see how cool it is that you can take something like this uh, and, and uh, you know, take it out in the field. Let's let's show you the different modes and a little bit of footage of when I was making a contact with it at field day and uh, all about it and hopefully I can get some more videos out in the future of me operating this thing with my FT817 with the telescopic antenna out the field on battery QRP style. The unit with the dot matrix screen on the front and the first thing to turn it on kind of threw me a little bit because uh, it said hold button one and button two until it turns on. So here's button one. Button two is actually this wheel which turns but also pushes up. Okay, so holding button one and button two will turn it on. All right, and you're right on there. Now, again, you can uh, set the, the date and the time up here, and to go into the menu, you would hold B1 okay and then you roll the roll this here now mode PSK 31 63 QPSK QPSKR ready CW CW direct CW practice and again I haven't played with the CW part of it yet but uh, mainly I'm interested in the PSK 31 and 63 okay um, who knows what this thing could do with a future update with firmware? Who knows? Uh, Ready, I'm also interested in as well. So, this is like your back button, too. Uh, a lot of stuff in here that I really haven't messed with yet. Squelch threshold, um, transmit audio level. I mean, there's settings in here, but right out of the box, the thing worked for me, so I didn't have to mess with that. LCD contrast for different lighting levels outside. Beacon interval, that's cool. You can set that thing so that it beacons uh, without having to sit there and punch the macro. That's pretty cool. In fact, uh, oops. Let's 
see, beacon interval. 30 seconds, 40, 50, all the way down to off. 10 seconds, all right, pretty cool. Uh, go down here to replay voice recording. Now, I'm curious on what that is. I guess you can record a voice and use this for, uh, well, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't played with that either. You can see there's quite a bit of options on here that, again, uh, may, there's somebody out there that's going to buy this and they're going to go all through it. And uh, I welcome your comments. Uh, you can import and, and export configurations, probably over USB. Um, for the paddle here, for CW, so I'm guessing this acts like a keyer, and that might be uh, what the auxiliary port is down here. We'll show you that in a minute. Um, you can, I'm using AA batteries in here, and you can use nickel metal hydride, and it does know the difference. They're looking at the uh, the unit here on the one side. So this this may be set up for future also. You know, you have your USB, which is where the keyboard goes. It has its own uh, what UART uh, slot here for USB keyboards. Um, the data, so that's going to be where your cable plugs in. And again, the pre-made cable that I got with mine for Yesu is the six pin. Um, maybe you can make your own cable. I'm sure there's pinouts. Um, so we're not going to worry about the antenna or this port here. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. So DC in it says 5 to 26 volts. Um, that might be, uh, you know, it's, it's for maybe several different countries or applications because usually it would be 12 volts, but it does have a wide array of input for voltage. And down here you have phone and auxiliary, so I'm not, I haven't used those yet either. But, um, you know, uh, there, I'm sure there's many, many uses for this, and maybe in the future um, the seller or creator can let us know in future updates. Um, when you take this open or open this up, there's three thumb screws here. So the three thumb screws will open up the case. We're going to take a look at this. That's where you put your batteries in. So your two AA batteries. And it's got a coin cell in there. Looks like a CR12203 volt. And that's for the memories, uh, for your macros and stuff. So if you ever have a problem with that, note you might be able to uh, change that. And um, But that's, that's what it is here. A lot of electronics in here not trying to be an expert on this. I'm sure there's a lot that I can learn on this unit, but I really wanted to get it to you in video form so you can take uh, take some awareness and maybe start playing with yours. Okay. So that's the unit. It feels really sturdy. It's got like an aluminum case. Um, it is not that heavy. It's probably uh, I don't know, a pound or two maybe. Um, not that heavy at all, so it fits great in the Go Kit. All right. Talking about the keyboard, if anybody wants to know, that was a big uh, interest when I showed it at field day. This is just, there's, there's a ton of these, you know, USB keyboards. Apparently these keyboards are waterproof. Um, they call it indestructible on the case. Um, or the packaging, but uh, very, you know, soft, the button, you know, you can feel the buttons when you're pushing them, so um, you don't have to have one of these. You can get a regular keyboard, uh, you know, a regular mechanical keyboard or whatever, anything that's USB, and I'm, I'm sure that the unit will work with a USB to PS2 adapter, all right? So, um, let me hook this back up, check out Riddy. Let me show you uh, what I was doing with it at field day. I, I tried to grab the camera and get some footage at, at the time. So um, let me show you what I was doing then with the uh, W4OT club at field day. 
So here's 20 meter PSK. So Gary's on 20 meters, so I'm not gonna transmit here. But listen to this action. So I'm on 15 meter PSK now. I've already made a couple contacts. I'm throwing a macro out here for a CQ. Whiskey for Oscar Tango, I can't get him. Let's try it again. So I've already done 10 meter PSK, 15 and 20 on this device. Uh, probably this has got to be the coolest thing I've ever used with ham radio. This is the most neatest thing. Um, a lot to, not a lot to learn, but there's a few things I need to know to make this um, more effective because there, it, here it goes. Kilo 9 Mike Charlie Echo. K9 Mike Charlie Echo. We off in North Florida. Kilo Echo 4 Foxtrot Delta. So it does do ready as well. That's a good strong signal. So, I'm going to try to make a contact real quick. Forty meter PSK is a little noisy tonight, but hey, I got it. Now you see how it's highlighting those? It's it's detecting a call sign. Now there's a way to to save that, um, so that you can just import that right into the next macro. But I'm I'm hand typing all this. Echo Kilo forty four. And it beeps when you hear the call, when it sees the call sign. TG9 N, whoops, NDO. This is KJ4YZI. Good, strong signal. OM. QTH is Echo Lima 97 Vero Beach Florida Vertical 40 watts Back to you I know I'm not uh, sending as good as I do. I gotta get used to the roll up keyboard. It is a little different than a regular full size keyboard. I have to say. Tango Golf 9, November Delta, Oscar. So that's it. Now my station for PSK while portable has just been condensed down to something like this. You can see the actual size of that compared to the 817. 
confirmed working with the 817 non-ND and the ND model using only the data port in the back. Um, so there you have it. The first video of probably many. Now I can test a bunch of cool antennas. If I get some time and some time away from work, I do have a full-time job, you know. Uh, I can get out there and play a QRP event and uh, play with this thing on complete battery power. And uh, maybe the next video I make, I'll make it with this and I'll do the MFJ 1899T telescopic antenna on the back of this radio again doing some QRP PSK because a lot of people are having issues with trying to figure out how to tune that antenna. So I'm going to do another video and show you again some tips and tricks on how to get that thing tuned so you can make the most use out of your 817. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe for more videos. Share it on Facebook. Show your friends. Like, thumbs up, comment, and uh, a charitable donation to help support the cause would greatly be appreciated. All it takes is one dollar, and I can get some better, better gear, better quality stuff here, and uh, show you some of the latest and greatest. So seven three, thanks for watching. Tune in again. We got more on the way. From KJ4YZI.